Hi, I'm James Boning from James Robinson, 109 year old family business in New York City specializing in antique jewelry, porcelain, glass, and silver. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about micro mosaic jewelry. Uh, micro mosaic is a art form that dates back to ancient Rome. Um, in jewelry particularly, it uh, is made up of little pieces of enamel like tesserae. Um, they were very popular in the 17th through uh, late 19th century. Um, the pieces I have today are going to all be late 19th century Victorian. Um, they would build pieces of art out of these tesserae in order to make a scene, often a famous place in Italy or another type of scene. Here I have swans, uh, birds, and flowers, uh, very common motifs. Um, they became very popular during uh, this time known as the Grand Tour period, in which young affluent men uh, would travel Europe uh, when they came of age. Uh, and these were almost like the first postcards that you could send back to loved ones. Um, a little later, more in the 1850s, um, these would be sent as plaques to some of the world's best jewelers in Paris and London, where they would be assembled, like many of these, into larger pieces. Um, as you can see, the, the work goes halfway around the bangle. These would have been sent as mosaic plaques to the jeweler, and then the jeweler would have fabricated this piece. Um, a lot of them came from the Vatican workshops, most of them, uh, and many of these pieces were manufactured in Paris and London, as I said. Um, the art form itself is a very expressive way of showing, um, or depicting, sorry, um, the, this art, um, unlike enamel, when it's painted on, it has a lot more depth and realism when you have the micro mosaic. Um, this piece, for instance, is uh, was made also in Rome rather than being sent abroad. Um, some of them, as these earrings, are marked by a jeweler. Very infrequently at this time were pieces marked, so you do occasionally get some. These are made by a artist named Carly. Um, sometimes you do get marked pieces, but most of them are unmarked. Nowadays, these pieces are harder to come by based on condition. Um, as people wear them and they've existed longer, uh, they are harder to come by in this condition, uh, as well as the motif of these few pieces I have out are very universal, swans, flowers, birds. Um, many of them would have been made with religious symbolism. If you are interested in seeing these pieces, I'd be happy to have you in the shop anytime uh, to talk and discuss uh, this wonderful uh, art form. Thank you.